For DOE, there are really just three basic rules that you need to know about. And these are replication, randomization and locking. The way to master a DOE is as easy as learning to drive a car. You need to take lessons, learn the three basic rules of DOE and you need a lot of practice. Since you're watching this video, you can already check mark the taking lessons tab. So let's look at these three basic rules. The first one is replication. Why do we need to repeat experiments i mean we don't live in a perfect world you're not perfect the instruments you use to measure your results are not perfect and there will always be fluctuations in your results that don't have anything to do with the variables that you're changing so rule number one repeat measurements rule number two randomization and the concept of randomization is a very important one Picture that you're trying to find a new catalyst for a coding system and you're testing different concentrations. On day one, you test different concentrations of catalyst one. On day two, you're testing catalyst two. And then day three, you're testing catalyst three. And you find out that the catalytic effect increases from catalyst one to catalyst two to catalyst three. But on day one, you had a very rainy day. Day two, it was clouded. And day three, it was extremely sunny. Assuming you don't have air conditioning in your lab, the temperature will affect your measurements. And the temperature, specifically chemical reactions, will be affected quite significantly by changes in the temperature. So no wonder that catalyst three was the fastest one. So what do you do to avoid something like that in the future? You randomize your design and that will already help, but you still have the different temperatures and you still don't have no air conditions. So your experiments will be affected by the weather and you cannot just wait until you have three days in a row where it's uh, cloudy. So we also have blocking as the third principle of design of experiments. And blocking means that you group the experiments per day, for example. So you know I'm performing this set of experiments on day one, this set of experiments on day two, and this set of experiments on day three. Or another example for blocks could be different people that are involved in doing the experiments. Maybe person one is on vacation and person two has to continue with, with the experiments experiments or you're using different machines. I mean, there are a lot of examples of blocks that you can use for your experiments. And what your DOE software will do with the blocks, it will be able to filter the differences that were introduced by the weather, for example. And with these three rules, you can start practicing. And that's probably the most important thing to get going to make mistakes.